Right, okay, so we have here the H hydrogen and a Mars spectrum of ethanol. So this should be quite easy for us to assign. I have got a lovely triplet there. I've got a quartet there. And I've got a singler be the there. <laughs> Brilliant. So this one here is going to be... Can we draw ethanol? Yeah, let's put ethanol up. So I've got CH3, CH2, OH. Now I can assign this purely based on intensity. This one here is going to be my OH. This one here is going to be the CH2 group. And the final one at the end is going to be my CH3 group. Let's just think about the splitting. The CH3 group has got two hydrogens on a neighbouring carbon and therefore is split into a tripler. The CH2 has got three neighbours and therefore is split into a quartet. And the OH doesn't cause splitting and is never split itself. So we have here ethyl ethanoate. So again, it should be relatively straightforward. You notice we don't even have a scale. I was that lazy. So, but we can do it based on what we see. We have got three types of hydrogen. We get three signals as expected. What's this boy gonna be? He has got to be the first CH3 because he has no neighbors and is a signal. So he is a CH3 attached to the C double bond O. I have to be specific because I've got two CH3 groups. Can you say that again? Because he's got no neighbours, no hydrogens, neighbouring hydrogens. He's going to therefore be a singler, and therefore he must be that one because that's my only singler. What about this guy here? He's a tripler. CH3. So he is going to be a CH3 group. So he's going to be, if I put CH2, CH3, but it's that, the CH3, if it's causing it. Yeah, or R, CH3, is fine. Because he has got two neighbours and is therefore going to be split into a tripler. And then the final P is O, CH2 because he has got three neighbours and is therefore split into a quartet. I don't have intensities, but I don't need them. I can assign that spectrum confidently based on that. Okay, so another ester, methyl propanoate. Again, relatively straightforward to do. I've got a singler, a quartet, and a tripler. Sometimes people call that quadruple. Anyway, which one's got to be? This CH3 has got no neighbours, so he's got to be this guy, O, CH3. What about this boy here? Well, he's a tripler, so he must be that CH3. So he's going to be R, CH3, there, because he's got two neighbours and is therefore split into a tripler which leaves this boy being CH2, C double bond O, because he has got three neighbours and is split into a core. Okay, so final then, we've got two lovely jubbly molecules here to assign. So let's just do this, so it shouldn't take very long. We've only got a few seconds left. So, we have got a tripler, a quartet, and a singler. We've got, no, this is going to be an ester. Yeah, it's going to be ethyl methanoate. Because that's my ethyl group, and that's gas come from methanoic acid. That's a carbon. Okay, yeah. That's a carbon, yeah. So, that H is going to be there. Yeah, this is hydrogen of mine. This boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
we've got um, CH3. He has got two neighbours, so he is going to be the triplet here, RCH3, which means this boy is OCH2, quartet, because he's got three. Right, so I've drawn it on posterity. <laughs> Do you want me to be there in the exam as well? Yeah. In the exam. I, really I hate silly talking. I'm not alone in my opinion. Okay, so this one we need to be a little bit more uh, careful about. So, what about these guys here? It's quite a complicated signal. You've got what it looks like a signal, but you've got some nastiness going on down you here. Line, so it's not I don't know. What is it going to be? That one. Which one's this one? Around about 7.3. So two. What else so I've got? Yeah. Those, yeah. those. What other hydrogens have I put on? Benzene yeah. really nice. Yeah. So they're my... I'm going to the Oh, well, I think we can probably work it out, but you may need the sheet. Let's, let's look at the sheet. So, what do you reckon is going to be there for the ones at about 5 point... CH3 with the C double bond O next to it. Okay, so we reckon that's going to be H3C, C double bond O. Yeah. What about these boys? Are they going to be O, C, H, 2? Well, actually... Do you reckon? No, actually the other way around. I know, it's the other way around, because the CH2 is next to the oxygen, so it's more yeah. chemically shifted, so other around. So you're going to have to check your chemical shifts for yeah. that one. So that would be where you need your data sheet. So you need to check your, your data sheet. Uh, so just before you head off, make sure it is the opposite way around. Because we were problem solving.